What's going on guys? I see you're back. Thanks for tuning in to another one. We're here on the second installment of Fish Talk Friday. And today we're going to do a kind of a more simple fish. It is a uh, member of the sunfish. So let's get right into it. And I even have a brand new marker. Let's make sure this thing friggin' works. All right. So today we're going to be touching on crappie. But before we do that, I need you to hit that subscribe button down there for me. Drop a like, hit the notification bell, turn on the notifications so that you guys know anytime I upload, you guys won't miss anything. All right? Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what the fish is that you would like to talk about. Drop me some, uh, maybe some interesting facts that you know about fish. I don't claim to know everything there is to know about these fish that I'm talking about. I do some research and then I come back to you guys with some things that I have found. So with that being said, let's jump into it. And today we're talking about crappie. The crappie, also known as what? Does anybody else know what it's called? If so, drop me a comment down below. What is it? Ready? Slash. Spec. That's right. It's crappie, also known as spec. I'm pretty sure more down south they're referred to as spec. Uh, that must be like a southern thing, which is fine. Whatever. Their name is derived from a Canadian French term. Uh, it's my understanding that it's it's probably pronounced crappé. I would imagine the T is probably silent in crappé. Might be crap it. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, they are obviously a member of the sunfish. Now with crappie, there are two different breeds of crappie. There is a black crappie and a white crappie. Now, black and white crappie. So what's the difference between black and white crappie? It's my understanding that the biggest difference is, uh, is the number of spines in their dorsal fins. I want to say the black crappie has like one or two more spines. And obviously, if you just look at the fish, you'll be able to tell because if you they, the black crappie has a lot of like black specks on it, whereas the white crappie have like it's it's like i don't know it's just like white there's like some lines on it maybe a couple little lines and like some specks personally i think the black crappie look way cooler but they both are great to eat fantastic fish to eat their average lifespan is said to be about seven years apparently the oldest crappie ever recorded which i don't know how you record that but Apparently the average or the oldest crappie ever recorded was 15 years, but the average lifespan is said to be about seven years. Record crappie was caught. I don't remember when it was caught, but a record crappie was five pounds and how many ounces? Five pounds, 7.68 ounces. That's a pretty freaking big crappie. I don't know if you realize how big of a crappie that is, but it is massive. So. Five pounds, 7.68 ounces. That's your world record crappie, which is huge. Crappie will often come in, well, always come in, in the springtime. Once the water temperature starts to reach about 60 degrees, that's when those fish are going to come in and they start to spawn about one to six feet. They want to come in shallow and spawn. And that is on the rise. Again, just like the walleye. You remember the walleye? Once that water temperature rises to 40 degrees with the walleye, they'll come in and start to spawn shallow. Crappie, they wait till about 60 degrees. And then they'll come in and spawn a little bit shallow. They like to make their nests in the shallow water. So, just like last week, I'm going to have to get down here so that you guys can see. Spawn at water temp 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's do a little bullet point here. And they nest shallow. That is, that looks like hell, sorry. Nest shallow, uh, about one to six feet. All right. Ooh, that didn't sound good. All right. So let's jump into how do we catch these fish, dirty bird? How do we catch these fish? I'm going to tell you it's really simple. They're a sunfish. Sunfish are generally an easy fish to catch. And crappie's really good to eat. If you have crappie in the area and not walleye, crappie is probably your best fish in the area to eat. So go out and get you some. Oh, in my experience, one of the most effective way to catch these fish, if you're fishing by boat, is probably drifting a uh, uh, crappie rig, which I'll show you real quick. Okay, so this is your crappie rig. 
you can just buy these at the store. You could probably make them if you wanted to, but just buying them is a lot easier because they're like $3 or whatever. So you got your little barrel swivel. That's where your main line, main line would uh, go to. All right. Then it's almost like a leader area. And it just goes down to like these little swivels like this. These things can just spin around, you know, like that. Full 360 degrees. And it branches off to a hook right there. And you would put your minnow or whatever you want to use on there. Leeches or whatever. I usually use minnows. If you go down a little bit further, there's another one. So you can double up. And then when you go down further, you get to a spot where you can put a weight. And just depending on how fast the drift is and uh, all that stuff, water, depth, all that, uh, is will determine the size weight you need. So that just depends on, on you, really. How to catch these fish. Let's do how to catch. Oh, probably should do that. Let's do drifting. We'll just do drifting. And with drifting, what did I just mention? The crappie rig. Now when you're drifting, you don't have to drift crappie rigs. I had mentioned this last week with walleye, and you can drift these things depending, if you have a good drift, like, you know, if the water's really pushing you, say you're moving one and a half, two mile an hour, just on a drift, which is pretty fast drift, um, throw a vibe on, man. I was slaying crappie, drifting a vibe once upon a time. I didn't, I didn't really expect it, but every time, you know, you got that vibe out there, and every time, you know, a wave hits you or something, and you're doing this kind of thing, that vibe is going to flutter, and then drop back down, and then flutter, and then drop back down. And I was tearing them up on a vibe. Also, you can, with a vibe or a crank, or a little worm or whatever you can cast let's do slash vibe uh, cast vibe crank now uh, a very effective way to catch these fish is if they start coming into spawn they, they'll often go to, like, structure, things like that. Um, and if if they're near structure, say, like, a tree underwater or something like that, branches, stuff like that, if they come to that, they're all going to congregate right there. And that's when you want to get right on top of them and just start vertical jigging. Vertical jigging, man, I feel like I'm kind of beating a dead horse here. If you're going to vertical jig... Bust out the vibe. Why not? You. This is probably the most versatile bait I've ever come across. I didn't know about these things till like a few years ago. I didn't know about them. And now I'm like, wow. This is the like probably the most superior bait there is. Another thing that's great for vertical jigging is just little jigs like this. Okay. Let's try to grab it by the eyelet so you guys can really see it. No. So yeah. You just whoo. And then this thing will spin down there and you know. Kind of flash. And maybe they don't want that color. So you grab something else. Maybe they want something like this. Something that's got little bounties on it, you know. Got a little jig head here. These are just things that you can buy these uh, completely. Like ready to go. Just go to your bait shop. Check them out. Stuff like that. Another effective way. Although I haven't had a whole lot of luck on these. But I have seen people have a lot of luck on these. I just haven't had it, I guess. Is uh, the good old jigging wrap. Hook your stuff here. And you just pull these up and they'll just kind of dart around as they're coming up. And then they kind of fall back down and they'll dart around when you pull them. And uh, yeah, a lot of people have luck on these. I just haven't really had it personally, but I do know that they work. Obviously because I have one, I just haven't had much luck on it. Another effective way to rig for uh, like drifting, we'll jump back to that real quick. Another effective way to rig for drifting is uh, say take a floating jig head like this, okay? And take yourself a sinker, and you're going to almost make like a little leader. You're going to run this down, tie your line off to that, and then off of that, have yourself, say, I don't know, a foot or two off the ground. And this will flow up like this, 
and you just tip it with you know live bait minnow leech whatever you want to use and you just drift along and now this is going to be drifting sitting on the bottom dragging along and this will just be sitting up off the bottom a little bit right in their viewpoint good cranks to use for uh crappie i mean you could probably really use whatever you want but i really like these style uh, i like jointed these are flicker shad number fives and uh, this one here is like my go-to. I love this. I catch so many fish on just this lure here. It is wonderful. This one does wonders. Um, both of them are great. I have multiple of them. I have different colors. But those two are my favorite go-tos. They, uh, they just work wonders. They're fantastic. With all that stuff being said, what is the best time to fish for crappie? Well, just about any time that you're going to go fishing for really any fish, what time are you going? Well, you're going to go in the morning or the evening. Same with crappie. Morning and evening is uh, your most likely time to catch these fish. Um, it, it kind of goes with any fish you're going to really fish for. And honestly, I mean, if you're going to go fishing, you're probably going to go in the morning and the evening. Uh, you'll have luck catching these fish in the afternoon and stuff like that, but it might slow down. Maybe it'll slow down a little bit, but you'll still catch these fish. They're... A relatively easy fish to catch and as long as you're using you know a lot of these lures such as you know the crappie rigs and uh, if you want a vertical jig a vibe is fantastic for just about everything depending on the how fast you're drifting if you want to troll for these fish you can troll uh, I didn't even mention that you can really troll really well for these fish throw out a crank throw out a vibe whatever so that about covers it for crappie I appreciate you guys tuning in, hanging out with me on this second edition of Fish Talk Friday. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys doing that. Drop me a like and hit the notification bell so you guys know every time I upload. Again, just like I said last week, if you want to get involved and tell me what you want to talk about next, drop me some uh, comment down below so that I can, you know, do some research on that fish. And, uh, you know, jump in the comments also and... Maybe if I left something out, which is a good possibility, there's a lot to know about all the fish. So if I left something important out, throw it in the comments section below, all right? So with all that being said, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.